Hey everybody, welcome back to Champ and Sons in our NCAA 24 series here with the Mean Green as the offensive coordinator. And we have got a heck of a matchup for y'all today as we are in the Liberty Bowl facing off against Tennessee and the SEC, our second SEC team of the season. Now our offense is completely revamped from the past of the Mean Green. We've got the number seven passing offense. Grant Gunnell, who was out for us at the end of the season with broken ribs, missed with the last three and a half games, four games for us, or maybe four and a half. Um, he will be back in this game. So I do think we should be able to spread the ball out some. We've been pretty good. Now these guys are going to be fast, so we're going to have to be creative with how we spread the ball around. But I think this is a game where we can, you know, shock some people. No one's going to be picking us to win this game against Tennessee. We are 9-3 and three on the season, looking to have our first 10-win season um, in some time and probably around a couple decades here for the Mean Green. And we are actually going to start out with the ball here on our opening drive. Just about under nine minutes ago as we hand that one off to Attaway going to the right side. He picks up two yards right there. That's going to make it second and eight. We are at our own 43-yard line trying to get this ball moot going and get some momentum built up. Gunnell is going to be alone in the backfield. Five wide. Has a snap. Fires it quickly over to Tommy Bush, and he picks up four yards right over the middle. Smart play. Didn't try to force anything too much. And that's going to set us up with a third. And I'm not going to say short because four yards, but it's not medium either. It's kind of that gray area in between. It's third and manageable is the best way to label this one. Third and four now from our own 47-yard line. Gun on the shotgun. Three wide. Has a snap. They bring a blitz. It's picked up. He drops it off to Roberts on the right side who powers forward, lowering his shoulder into the defender and picks up enough to get the first down and takes it across midfield all the way to the 46 on the plus side here as we have got this drive going and we may have something working. Gunnell is three for three so far in the day for 30 yards. He's been pretty much our whole offense up to this point. Now play action. They get pressure. He fires it over to Shorter who makes had the ball in his hand but got hit relatively quick and the ball does squirm out so it is going to be a dropped pass second and ten a good job by this mean green offense and picking up that blitz now from the pistol formation handed off to Attaway that blitz comes through this time unblocked unchecked and Attaway is brought down by Jeremy Banks three yards in the backfield here and just didn't have a shot didn't have a chance to get free at all and that's going to make it third and 13. Quite a ways to go from the 48-yard line. Gunnell's going to be in the shotgun. Four wide, making some changes at the line. Has the snap. Nobody brings a blitz. He stands in the pocket, just drops that one off to Attaway. Didn't really have much where else to go for it. At that point, he probably should have really just thrown it down. But, hey, he is just a sophomore. Um, it's going to take him some time to get used to those decisions. Now we punted it, and Tennessee would go right down and get a touchdown on us and take the lead 7 to nothing. So later in the first, we fired over to Tommy Burns. He's got some space up the middle, and Tommy Burns pick, or Roderick Burns picks up 23 yards. Burns and Bush are two slot receivers, Tommy Bush and Roderick Burns. And Burns has come through big for us this season. He has been a great target for us, and he should prove why right there at the 23-yard pickup all the way down to the 42-yard line on the plus side of the field. Just under two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. We do trail seven to nothing. Gunnell on the shotgun, four wide. It's going to be an option keeper right up the middle. Gunnell picks up about five yards. I don't like seeing him take those hits. He's coming off broken ribs, but he's a tough kid, and he's showing that toughness right here, lowering that shoulder into those defenders. Second and five, keeping with the four wide. Gunnell has the snap. They bring a blitz. He rolls out to the right. He has a little bit of space. He's going to take it himself. He's down the sideline, and he's hit out of bounds and fumbled it right at about the 27. And he's a little slow getting up, which I can, I mean, I can see that was a hard hit, but Jesus, we've got to be careful with him. And actually, they marked about 26 and a half yard line here. Which we're going to come out three wide. Roberts in the slot right. Has a snap. They bring a blitz. He fires it deep over the middle. Had a man. And he throws it short. That's picked off by Flowers, who starts to take it back, breaking some tackles. And our offensive guard, Blair, finally brings him down. 
First interception of the day goes to Tennessee as Gunnell had Burns open. It just dropped about a yard short, and they were able to jump up high point that and come down with the interception. Now after a touchdown from that turnover, here we come back at them with our third possession of the game. Second and three after seven-yard pickup by Attaway. He's got 24 yards on seven rushes. We cannot give up on the run play. We have we cannot become one-dimensional this early. That's going to really shut us down. We have to keep trying to run the ball. And now second and three from the pistol formation. Three wide. Hands it off to Attaway again. Hold to the left side. He picks up about five yards right there. And that's going to give us a first down and a new set. Right at about the 33-yard line of Tennessee. We are on the plus side of the field, heading towards the end zone with our name on it. Coming out in a shotgun, four wide, three receivers right. Gunnell has a snap. He's going to roll out to the right, fires it over to Burns, but he came back to make the catch. He came back, which kind of allowed the defender to get an angle, and he only picks up three yards on that reception. So second and seven at the 30 is where we stand. Gunnell is 7-9 for 69 yards on the day. Coming out in the pistol once again. It's going to be an option keeper. Gunnell to the right side, or left side, I mean right, and cuts up the middle. Picking up seven yards. It's going to make it third and inches. Gunnell still taking those hits. Still refusing to slide or anything. So here we come third and inches. We are two for three on third down conversion, so I do feel confident about that. But now we just got to hand it off to Attaway, and they bring the blitz right up the middle again. Jeremy Banks for his third tackle for a loss. Comes completely unchecked right up the middle, and that's going to make it fourth and two. Now, we're trailing by 14, and right now we haven't stopped Tennessee once. They've just been on two long drives. So this, this is we have to go for it. Fourth and two. No choice here. Gunnell has a snap. He's going to roll out to the left. He's got some space. Takes it himself, and this time he slides down. Okay. I can feel better about that. He does slide down this time, picking up the first and 10. We are inside the red zone at the 17. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the first half here. We still trail 14 to nothing, trying to get on the scoreboard. Gunnell, five wide, has the snap. They bring a blitz again, stands over, fires it to Burns, cuts up the middle, and takes a hard hit for eight-yard gain, making it second and two as he hit pretty dang hard. Burns was not prepared for that one. Looks like he got high load on that hit. Second and two at the nine. We're inside the 10, just nine yards. 27 feet away from pay dirt. That's all we need. Gunnell's going to come out in a shotgun. Four wide. Attaway to the right. Has a snap. It's going to be an option keeper. Gunnell to the right side. Breaking one tackle. And it's finally brought down. and Picked up about half a yard on that one. They're going to say kind of says no game, but he really got about half a yard to a yard. So third and about one and a half now. We come out set. Two down uh, in the pistol formation. Two tight ends. Hand it off to Attaway up the middle. Bouncing to the left side. And they, he does pick up enough. Whoo, that was nerve-wracking. I wasn't sure if he picked up enough, but he got just to the line to gain. And that's going to make it first and goal from the seventh. One minute, just under one minute remaining in the first half. Gunnell's going to come out set. Three wide. Has a snap. Stands tall, fires it to Roberts. He's going to get into the end zone. Jake Roberts for the mean green touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Roberts coming on the drag route right across the defense. Makes a catch, and then it was just all him fighting his way into the end zone through the tackle. And that's going to cut the Tennessee lead in half. And that's going to make it a 14-7 game here at halftime in this Liberty Bowl matchup. What a game we have working. This has been a tough fought one. I mean, outside of the turnovers, um, out, outside, you know, if he, he throws the ball one yard further, we're talking a tie ball game here. So I, I think we are definitely right in this. We truly can hang with Tennessee. We just have to put together enough consistency. Our drives have to be consistent enough to make that push and to kind of get over that hump. But Gunnell's done pretty well. I mean, short arm the deep ball, but overall he's done pretty well. He's been tough. He's taken some hits. It's good to see him take hits and bounce back. Um, a couple of them harder than I would like to see, but it is what it is. Now, yardage-wise, Tennessee is beating us. They have 198 total with 28 on the ground. We have got 160 yards with 72 on the ground and 88 through the air. 
So, I mean, it seems kind of lopsided. The game doesn't seem like it should be a one-touchdown game, but, hey, it is what it is. They've only had a few drives, right? They've only had basically what amounts to just over two drives, if you count the one at the very end of the half that they weren't able to score on because they ran out of time. So, you know, take it for what it is. I'm glad we're in this position. And we just got to go out and make the plays that we need. And this is where it starts on our opening drive of the third quarter. Gunnell hands it off to Attaway up the middle. Breaking tackles. Oscar Attaway picking up nine yards on that rush. Now, we are on the Tennessee side of the field here at the 32-yard line. After that nine-yard gain, making it second and one from the 32. So Gunnell comes set in a pistol formation now. Has a snap. It's going to be an option keeper, but they blow right past Attaway. We're not fooled once. Beasley kind of looked at Attaway as he ran past him, but that was about it. And he comes colliding into Gunnell for about a three-yard loss, making it third and four. They have done a great job reading our option offense. So now we come out set three wide in the shotgun. Gunnell has the snap, fires it to the left side. He's got Damon Ward on the sideline, tiptoeing for the 12-yard reception. His first catch of the day, and what a catch it was. And that's going to pick up a first and 10 all the way down to the 23-yard line here. I'm surprised he was able to come down with it. And they're not going to review it. So apparently that obvious, I mean, he had to really done a hell of a job getting those toes down. Now on first and 10, Gunnell stands back. He's hit and dropped, but he fumbled it. And a mean green offensive lineman does jump on it. Gunnell stood back there, really didn't have any time to look at the receivers. And he's brought down by Thomas and fumbled it. And that's going to make it second and 22 now. All the way back to the 35-yard line. So coming out in a shotgun, three wide, two back set. Gunnell drops back, blitz comes, he fires it to Shorter. He breaks a tackle. Jair Shorter into the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And this game is going to be tied up here. What a route run by Shorter. But really, it's the run after the catch to avoid the ankle tackle and to get into the end zone. And this thing it was tied up until Tennessee's offense takes it down and scores a touchdown to make it 21 to 14. Now we're gonna jump ahead to the fourth quarter as we pass it to Ward over the middle there and he picks up 16 yards coming up with another tough catch for us. And on that one picking up a good chunk of yardage to get us a brand new set of downs first and 10. We are trailing by seven. The score is Tennessee 21, North Texas 14, as we try to push to tie this game once again. So here from about the 27-yard line, Gunnell's going to be in a pistol formation. Three receivers. They bring a blitz. It's going to be an option keeper. Gunnell up the middle. He's hit and brought down after a gain of seven yards. Good solid tackle by the volunteer safety. They have done a great job of tackling. Trayvon Flowers, nine tackles on the day so far. So second and three as we come out here in a shotgun. Four wide this time. Hand it off to Attaway up the middle. Bounces off a blocker. He's got some space. Up the middle. Attaway brought down at about the seven-yard line. Maybe they'll spot him at the six. He's got 71 yards rushing on 15 carries this afternoon. And he's got us poised to tie this game once again. From the six-yard line, we're going to spread him out wide with three wide set in a pistol formation. As we hand it off to Attaway up the middle again, bouncing off tacklers and brought down for a four-yard gain this time, making it second and goal. This kid has done a lot to get us here. We might need to let him just finish this one off. So second and goal, we're going to come set to the line here. We have two tight ends going right, power eye formation. Gunnell under center, hands it off to Attaway up the middle. Touchdown, Mean Green! Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This game is tied up once again here in the fourth quarter. Now, Tennessee would go down and kick a field goal, so they do lead once again 24-21. to 21. Gunnell on our drive with about two minutes remaining. Tries to fire it over to Ragsdale, but completely missed on that one. That was a first down, and he completely whiffed, so now it's second and ten. Just over two minutes remaining in this Liberty Bowl as we trail by three, an, option, an opportunity to take the lead, an opportunity to grab the win. 
We're at about the 40-yard line here. So we do need some space to get that field goal. Second and 10. It's going to be a play action. Gunnell drops back, rolls out to his right, and breaks away from one but could not break away from everybody. And they're going to bring him down. Tyler Barron gets – they are going to call it a sack. It looked like he got to the uh, line of scrimmage. But they will go in and call that a sack. It's still third and 10 now as the clock is on the move. North Texas, we do have three timeouts, but we kind of want to save them for later. Third and 10. They bring a blitz right up the middle to the 50, and we're going to get hit and dropped. You've got to be kidding me. Nobody blocked him. Now, he came right up the gut untouched, and that's a defensive tackle. So now it's fourth and 20. Fourth and 20, and we're from the 50. Gun on the shotgun. They bring only three. No pressure. He throws it deep down the right side for shorter, and that Burrell's going to jump up, and he grabs that interception. Burns chases him down to tackle him. But that's, I mean, that's going to do it. That, that's all she wrote right there. Well, he let a sack come through on a third and 10. And that makes it fourth and 20. And Tennessee does not relinquish, so we will lose the Liberty Bowl. A hard fight game, 24 to 21. That's a pretty respectable loss for all the losses that we're going to have. But, man, it hurts when something like that happens. And really, that was just a Hail Mary pass. No one else was open, so we try to give them enough space, just under through it slightly, and Tennessee comes away with the victory. We won't get a 10-win season, but we are 9-4. and four. So that is something to build on. We've done pretty decent with recruiting. Um, so, hey, it's one of those it is what it is kind of situations. Um, we have to move on get ready for the next season. And, in fact, in the next episode, we will get to the off season. I'm not planning on leaving, but you always kind of have to check out the coaching carousel just to see what's available. I don't, I'm not planning on taking any head coaching job. I don't think I've earned one yet. Um, but we'll have to see what comes of it, you know, as, as time progresses. Maybe there is going to be an opportunity that just really can't refuse um, at this point. But we'll, we'll wait and see. So the season does end on a three-point loss, 24-21 to 21 to, 20, to Tennessee. Our losing points to the SEC this season has been nine points total. That's respectable being a Conference USA team. North Texas is moving to the American Athletic Conference next season along with a lot of our Conference USA teammates. Um, so it, it, there will be a little bit of a league shakeup going on. We'll kind of discuss that once we get to the offseason in that next episode. Um, but I do want to remind you all right now, if you have not hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that button. And if you did like today's video, definitely give us a thumbs up. It does help out the channel, and I greatly appreciate all the support y'all have shown us here recently. Um, I really cannot thank y'all enough and kind of overstate how much I truly, truly do appreciate it. So thank y'all for tuning in. I will see y'all in the next episode, everybody, for the off season. So as always, stay safe. And well, y'all know how it goes by now, right? Later, y'all.